Welcome back to the last digit. Today I'm going to show you Final Cut Pro X and how I used the footage from my iPhone 12 Pro which has the Dolby Vision HDR compatibility. So first thing you do is you have to change the library to this wide gamut HDR. So by doing that um, you can add HDR content. Uh, so if you don't create a library and change this setting where it says modify on the right, you will not be able to add the content and everything will be washed out. So Susan, as you create the project uh, inside of the library, you can name it and then drag in your HDR content. So what I did was I just pulled it directly from my iPhone 12 Pro and I recorded in 4K30 with HDR on. And this is Dolby Vision, so they call it the HLG. First thing you'll notice is that if you drag in a non-HDR clip, even though the library is set to wide gamut HDR, your project automatically becomes SDR. So then when you try and add your video in, you get this error and it says adding HDR clip to SDR project. Now the issue here is that look how washed out it gets when it's playing in SDR mode, so standard dynamic range. Now if you add the HDR video first, it actually works as expected. So then your project um, settings go to HDR. So then you can add in your intro clip or whatever it is uh, that you want to add in that's not HDR. The issue now is that the non-HDR clip is actually washed out. So what I did is I just looked through the effects and I found one that was called like full sun and put it in and made it even brighter than before. So I think it's a nice uh, HDR intro for, for this next video. So now you can edit as normal and you can immediately just continue uh, as long as all of your clips are also HDR you shouldn't have any issues. If you try to do something like balance color which usually works out great um, you can see it looked horrible so I didn't touch any of the footage and I left it all as you can see here in this format that it came in. So if we want to share the master file, you'll see I get an, a warning uh, and it's telling me that my content is uh, not recommended for 8-bit. So what we want to do is see for YouTube, for example, what we want to export as. And So here if you look for the MOV QuickTime, they recommend ProRes 422 um, as well as some other ones. But for, for my purpose, I'm going to export as the source file, which is Apple ProRes 422. Now the weird thing about this is for my 10 minute video, you can see here it's very bright and vibrant, but for my 10 minute video is about 40 gigs, and that's way too large. So even though you can see here that it looks great and the amount of colors and range coming through is, is beautiful here in these shots uh, around sunset time, it's definitely not worth it for me. So I'm gonna continue uh, recording and editing in non-HDR and I'll save this for for maybe special occasions but I don't have the space or the capacity to keep uh, making all of my future videos uh, HDR. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. <laughs>